Hello everyone, and I'm back with Mac tip number four. Uh, this week I'll be showing you how to rip a DVD onto your Mac. So you can put it on your iPod, or iPhone, Apple TV, whatever you've got. Or you just want to watch it or have it backed up on your Mac. So to start off with, you have to go to... I'll just load it up for you. So I've got on the internet, and then Google, just type in Handbrake. And it'll be handbrake.fr. You go onto the site and you download it. It's a free application, really good. Currently, it's on 0.9.3, so that's the current release. Once you downloaded that, it only takes literally a couple of minutes. Then you just go into your open up, it's just an application. And as you can see, it's the little cocktail there and the pineapple. And it'll, if you've got a DVD inserted, you just go on and it will come up here and it will show up on the desktop. And obviously, I haven't got one in there because I'm not going to do one because it takes quite a while. You just click it and open. And you will have to press start encode. So and that will run through the titles, pick it all up, and then it'll encode. I think an hour and a half film. I've tried it before. Yeah, roughly about an hour and a half, two hour film takes thirty to forty minutes, which is really good. And so you can. So all you'd have to do at the side, once you plugged it in, before you press start, you just go. You can have it whatever you like. You can have it on the Apple TV settings. And all they do is it changes the codex, the frame rate, the encoding, stuff like that. And it just uh, changes the settings, really. You can have it for your Xbox if you stream there, your QuickTime, PlayStation 3. You can have it iPod, low resolution, iPod high, iPhone and iPod touch. Or you just want it as a constant quality bitrate for like a DVD. If you're gonna burn another copy, just be careful, guys. When you do this, make sure it's not copyright protected or nothing. So that when you're coming back to me and blaming me, so. But well, I do use it quite a lot because it's good. So, there are the video settings. They will change obviously when you've got your, once you've clicked your selection down the side, and then audio and subtitles. You can do TV shows, DVDs. I leave advanced really. So all I do is really, if I want it to watch on my iPod or something, I'll just click any of them down the side, which one that in correspondence with the one I want, and it will change all the settings. You can change them yourself, but I keep them as that because they come out really good quality as well. So and then, like I said, once you're done that, you just click start. You can pause it while it's doing it. You can have a queue. It's just really good. A very good way to get TV shows for like long journeys or films without downloading them off iTunes. So that was Mac tip number four, guys, showing you how to rip a DVD onto your Mac. So I hope that helped. And any suggestions, like I said, I'll try and get them done. Catch you all next time. See ya.